So I got this uh, Crystal Mic uh, aviation microphone that uh, converts your uh, uh, ANR uh, headphones into uh, an aviation headset. And I've had a few uh, chances to uh, to use it now, so I kind of wanted to give my uh, my first impressions and uh, uh, kind of uh, do a little bit of a review. So uh, first off, uh, uh, the case itself, uh, the microphone comes with this case uh, that has enough room for your uh, your headphones. I, I think it's really nice. Uh, uh, it's perfect size for uh, for for your headphones and the microphone. I think it's just really well executed and it's good materials. It's not. To, this isn't just cheap crap that they threw in with a microphone. This is actually a nice case. So uh, <clears throat> enough about the case. Let's actually look at the microphone. So uh, first off, uh, you've got the uh, head unit, uh, which is this. Uh, that's the like the head unit with the, the volume control and then the, you know, the cables on each end. And uh, this here is the microphone itself if I can find it this is the uh, microphone itself that is the uh, the magnet side that uh, clips onto your uh, headphone that I'll headphones that I'll show you in a bit and uh, that's the uh, microphone in uh, this is a uh, David Clark TSO microphone and it sounds fantastic I would say it even sounds better than the, the Lightspeed headset that I'm uh, using this to replace it with. Uh, it just sounds better. It's it's crisp. The the noise rejection is excellent. It's just it's just a really good microphone. Uh, I'm really pleased. Uh, the build quality of this this is a no kidding uh, uh, microphone. This is uh, really good quality materials. Uh, it's not just cheap aftermarket crap. It's this is really well made. Uh, I have n uh, no uh, uh, problems kind of singing their virtues because this is this is really well done uh, so I, I'm really happy I mean it's not cheap it's uh, it was about three hundred and nine dollars I think on uh, on Amazon so it's it's not cheap but I, I, I think I made the right decision in going with crystal Mike because this is really nice uh, so uh, that end there uh, that's where you plug the the cable in that I'll uh, I'll show you in a little bit uh, so that's the microphone itself. This here is the uh, you know the headset that, or the head uh, unit that I showed you before. Uh, again, really good build quality. Uh, uh, you can f feel a kind of crisp detents in the uh, volume control as you as you move it around. Uh, it, it just feels good, and the materials are uh, uh, are good quality, and, and it's put together well. You can just you can tell by looking at it that it's it's just well made uh, and uh, everything is is nice and solid uh, uh, and I, I've seen cheap crap and this is not cheap crap this is this is well made <clears throat> so uh, on the other side of the uh, the head unit uh, you can see that there's two little inputs and uh, uh, those are both uh, three and a half millimeter jacks uh, that are you know the, the same as, as this one here uh, so you can plug, you know, uh, anything that has a, a three and a half millimeter output into that. Uh, and uh, one goodie that I got that I'll uh, show you that also uh, came with this. Uh, uh, it also came with a little uh, Bluetooth dongle. Uh, in a perfect world, this would have kind of been integrated into the, the head unit, kind of like uh, uh, Lightspeed and Bose do with, with their little uh, uh, head units. But... Uh, uh, it was a nice little goodie. I don't really use Bluetooth a whole lot, so I don't really care. Uh, uh, but this uh, has a, a little three and a half millimeter plug that you can, you know, plug into uh, that and then connect your phone Bluetooth. I will say, uh, connecting this to my phone was a little quirky, but once I got it working, uh, it works fine. Uh, again, I don't really care, and this is probably isn't worth a whole lot, but. Uh, uh, it was nice that they included it because uh, the the head unit itself doesn't have uh, Bluetooth built in, so it was it was a nice little freebie that I didn't know I was going to get. Okay, enough about the Bluetooth. Uh, so now I'll show uh, how the uh, microphone connects to the uh, the headphones. So this is the Sony WH1000MX3 uh, headphones. Uh, terrible terrible name for uh, really good uh, uh, headphones uh, I use these a lot for listening to podcasts and music and stuff and they're just fantastic the uh, uh, I have never 
uh, seen anything that beats the noise reduction on these headphones there it is really really good uh, I used them on the uh, lawnmower yesterday and uh, like yeah you can hear the mic you can hear the motor but uh, it, it's it's just kind of this dull rumble it, it really works well uh, I'm super impressed with the the uh, the noise reduction on these headphones it's really good and you can do a search, uh, uh, you know, for the Sony WH-1000MX3 on, on YouTube or, uh, or CNET or whatever and, and, and find some uh, good reviews of these headphones if you're, uh, if you're interested in, uh, you know, researching them a little bit more. I'm not going to go in depth. I'm just, because uh, I bought these for the noise reduction. Uh, they're also really, really, really good uh, headphones, uh, probably among the best that you can get but I didn't buy them for the sound quality. I bought them for the noise reduction. So, so this is the magnet that I've already glued onto the, uh, the headphones and uh, the kit that you get with the uh, crystal mic uh, has uh, several magnets and several uh, uh, do, uh, double sided uh, kind of stickies uh, for uh, sticking the, the magnet on here. Uh, don't use those. Don't even bother. Uh, just uh, use them for something else or throw them out. They're not going to hold, uh, the the very first you know I cleaned it really really well and uh, stuck it on there I put the the microphone on and uh, one small twist and and it, and it just came right off so it uh, you're gonna have to use super glue which means the magnet is on there forever <laughs> so if you don't want to, if you don't want this on there forever uh, I would kind of look for just a an aviation headset because that's uh, super glue is the only thing that's going to hold that on uh, uh, strong enough to to keep from come from falling off and you don't want falling off while you're flying that's just silly <clears throat> so uh, uh, this is permanently glued on because uh, again I bought the and it's not you know it doesn't look terrible uh, and it's not really that noticeable it's just a little magnet over in the front corner of the the left uh, another good thing about the uh, uh, this particular model is there's no touch controls on this side all the control touch controls are on this side So as long as you put the magnet on the the left hand side, it's not going to interfere with uh, any of the the touch controls uh, on uh, on the headphones because they're all on this side so uh, So that's the headphones and that's the the, the magnet uh, one other thing that, that they also include in their little sticker kit is a, a little black sticker to, to put over top of the uh, uh, the magnet to uh, kind of uh, pretty it up a little bit, which is kind of a nice touch. So uh, the the microphone just goes on with a, a simple click of the magnet, just boom there. Now you have an aviation headset, almost. <laughs> and this is plenty uh, plenty solid enough. It uh, it stays put. You know you can move the microphone around and it, and it, and it won't come off. But it's it's not so solid that you know you can't remove it. So uh, it's. Uh, it's it's perfect. <laughs> it's, it's it does exactly what they said it'll do, and it and it stays on uh, really well. So this goes on your headphones like that, and then you've got this end here. Uh, the long the the straight one goes into the uh, uh, the headphones, just like you would plug anything else in there. And the uh, angled one, uh, if I could show it on there, uh, the angled one goes uh, in the back of the, the microphone like that. And now you've got a uh, fully functional uh, headset. Uh, so I'll, uh, I'll put it on my, uh, on my noggin here for a second, give you uh, a better idea of what it uh, looks like uh, when you're actually wearing it. So this is kind of what it looks like uh, when, it's, uh, when it's on your melon. Uh, I'll just turn to the side here and, and kind of show you what it looks like from the side. So uh, that's uh, it looks like <laughs> it looks like an aviation headset, uh, and, and it functions uh, exactly like one. Uh, one thing I should probably point out is uh, uh, in the plane when I was testing it, uh, the uh, kind of the low end that the the light speed kind of did a better uh, job at, at filtering out. Uh, if I if I just ever so gently pressed on on the uh, ear cups uh, that bass uh, that low sound actually went away so if there was some way of kind of tightening the tension on these uh, they would actually work function much much better as uh, 
uh, an aviation headset. To, uh, it could have just been, uh, you know, uh, better uh, uh, ear cups on the uh, on the light speed. Uh, maybe the, the tension was a little higher, so it was sealed around your ear a little better. So that uh, low end rumble, and this this is from a uh, a Cherokee 140. So that kind of low end rumble from the motor uh, was just a little bit louder than than what I uh, experienced with the the light speed. But uh, uh, if uh, if you just kind of put a little bit of pressure on them, uh, uh, I would say it was probably even a little bit better than the uh, than the, the light speeds. But I never actually went like this with the, with the light speed, so I don't actually know if that's true or not. But uh, uh, the the that low end rumble, if I just kind of press these up against my head, just about disappeared. Uh, uh, so uh, for whatever reason, uh, you know, if you if you were able to put a little more tension on those, uh, you know, everything would be almost silent. Well, not silent, but you know what I mean. <coughs> uh, so anyway, I'll uh, I'll go back to the tabletop and, and kind of finish discussing uh, uh, this headset. So uh, again, final thoughts. Uh, I couldn't be happier with my decision. Uh, uh, quick history: the reason that I got uh, I replaced my light speed headset with this combination isn't because the light speeds weren't good. They were light speed Zulu twos, and they were they were fantastic. But the uh, uh, they had a Limo connector on them, and I used them with a uh, uh, a Limo to uh, GA adapter and that thing was just an absolute piece of shit uh, don't ever learn from my mistake don't ever buy one of those don't even ever plan on using one because it's a piece of crap they don't work they don't power the headset properly they cut out all the time they're noisy they're just awful don't uh, learn from my mistake don't ever do that uh, I can't not recommend using those enough because it made a fantastic headset into just garbage because the the adapter was just terrible uh, so rant over uh, back to the uh, uh, the this headset combination uh, this is the uh, crystal mic pro xs uh, and the uh, sony uh, wh 1000 mx uh, headphones uh, i'm super happy with both both super high quality uh, you're not going to get any better noise reduction than these headphones uh, you know, some people say they're on par with the the Bose. I think I think they've got them beat because I have never heard anything so quiet as these headphones. They're just it's magical. Uh, so great job, Sony, and uh, you know, great job. Uh, uh, the company that makes these, by the way, is OSEI. You can get them uh, either through their website. They do have a uh, a store there that you can you can buy these from uh, and some other stuff that they sell. Uh, as well as just getting them through uh, through Amazon, and that's how uh, that's how I got this. Uh, uh, I got the uh, headphones on uh, eBay, uh, and the combination together, uh, I paid three oh nine for the microphone, and uh, these were uh, refurbished uh, from a uh, reputable seller on uh, eBay, and I got them for two thirty. So you know, do the math and figure out whether that's a, a combination. That you're willing to uh, to kind of live with uh, versus just buying a, a straight up aviation headset. Uh, I wanted to go with this number one. I just thought it was a very cool idea, and number two, it's kind of dual use because I'm not you know a commercial pilot or anything. Uh, I uh, it was kind of a twofer for me, so uh, win win. Uh, I mean, it's a fantastic microphone, fantastic headphones. It makes a great headset. Uh, uh, you know. It's awesome. <laughs> so uh, uh, check them out, and I, I, I uh, if you go with it, I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised about how how good the quality of uh, uh, of this microphone is. It's it's really fantastic. So good job, OSEI. You did a fantastic job. I'm super happy. And you, they're not paying me to say that. It's just it's really good quality. I know good quality when I see it, and this is good quality stuff. Uh, it's not cheap aftermarket crap. It's a very good. The very good microphone and very well made so uh, hats off OSEI you did a great job so uh, I think that's about it uh, as you can tell I'm super pleased with my uh, uh, with my decision on the on the headphones and the microphone so uh, uh, I hope you found this helpful and I will see you soon thanks for watching